Uh, in this video, I'll be going through a more complicated example of Lagrange multipliers, namely I'll be giving an example of maximizing and minimizing a function subject to a constraint which is an inequality as opposed to um, a constraint which is just an equation. So here's a specific problem. Um, find the maximum and minimum values of the function f of x, y equals 2 x cubed y subject to the constraint that uh, x squared plus y squared is less than or equal to 4. So this is saying we're inside the circle of radius 2. And we want to find the biggest and smallest values of this function inside there. So this function is a polynomial. It's perfectly nice. So this extreme value theorem tells us that it has to have a maximum and minimum value uh, somewhere on this in this region because it's this closed disk. And so there are sort of two cases. Uh, it could have the maximum or minimum on the inside of this closed disk, in which case it'll be found by searching for critical points of the original function. Uh, the other situation is that the maximum or minimum could be on the boundary, in which case we could use Lagrange multipliers to find uh, the maximum if it occurs there. So the first thing we check is the inside. Inside this disk for critical points. And this will give us a list of points that if the maximum or minimum is, is inside, it'll be in that list is kind of the point. We don't have to worry too much about making sure whether they're local maxes or mins. And second, we're going to check the boundary. which has equation x squared plus y squared equals 4 uh, using Lagrange multipliers. So the original function was 2x cubed times y and the constraint was was this. So to find critical points of this, we find the partial derivatives. So the partial with respect to x is 6x squared y, and the partial with respect to y is 2x cubed, and critical points are where both of these are 0. So looking at this equation, that happens when x is 0. And if x is 0, then this other equation is automatically 0. So any point of the form 0, comma y, whatever y is, as long as it's inside, um, as long as it's between negative 2 and 2, for instance, uh, we have a critical point. So these are all critical points. But let me tell you why we can ignore all of these, because you look at the original function, you plug 0 and then anything in for y, the function equals 0. And the value 0 is neither a maximum or minimum value of this function in that region because there are values of x and y that we can plug in that will make this negative, and there are values that we can plug in that will make this positive. So 0 is not the maximum nor the minimum. Uh, and what this means, uh, these are the only critical points on the inside, so all that's left to check is the boundary.